questions. Uh, now I'm going to take a look at a home. This is a uh, another pretty cool home home screen replacement. Uh, you can see here. These are the common icons I use, and then you go to the next screen. These have some more icons. Now, if you notice, when I switch screens, the bottom four icons never change. That's called your your dock. You see, those four are your commonly used apps. Those are going to remain all the time. Now, uh, there's only two screens in the in a home light. That's the demo version that I have. I'm assuming that's why you know it wouldn't make sense to get rid of a screen like you have one less screen than Android already offers so I'm I'm sure in the paid version they have more than two screens at least I hope they do uh, another thing that I like about them is they have widgets now let me go to preferences really quick so let me enable this enable this and I go back now you notice now you see these little two icons to the side you have this blue magnifying glass icon that's gonna open all of your apps See now you see all of the apps that are offered. Looks pretty nice. And when you click on this little compass, now you see the widgets that are offered. You have photo frame, analog clock, weather, digital clock. Now when you can go online and get a few other widgets from them, there's stuff that has post-it notes, there's power, search bar, some third-party developers uh, made those widgets that are pretty cool, uh, like to see some more but let's, for instance let's look at the digital clock, I just hold press and you'll see all of a sudden I have a new digital clock to accompany my uh, logo of my alma mater, Go Panthers and uh, you also see in the weather here Miami, Florida, you know the weather's not too bad today and if you notice that when I went to preferences, that's when you saw the little app drawer and the widgets drawer come up. You can take that on or off to give yourself more screen room. I'll choose to take it off. But what I really want to show you guys is the theme. Of course, there's a default Android theme and there's the iPhone theme like every other phone for some reason. Everyone wants their phone to look like an iPhone. There's a really good one that I like called Free Nail. Uh, that came, that's a, a made by a third party person as well. It's a really great uh, skin, but I'm going to show you guys a blue iPhone style theme, you know, so you can see the difference. Go back, and it'll apply the theme now, and you'll notice that the colors change, the bottom icons change as well. It looks pretty nice, new background. So that's a home, uh, like I said, good dock bar, nice widgets. Uh, like to see some more skins. The ones they have so far look pretty good.